So when we sit down and look at, at data, one of the things that we're, we're really implementing more, especially in our year two, is to do that vertically, not only horizontally across the grade level for different uh, disciplines, but also on the vertical perspective for a single discipline. So that our fifth grade math teacher is going to sit down and have conversations with our fourth grade and our third grade and our second grade and our first grade so that we can really discuss it in a non-threatening, you know, I try to guide those conversations so that sometimes vertical work can be nothing more than a finger pointing and pass the blame down. So ultimately everything's kindergarten's fault, right? It all goes back to your mother. What we're trying to do is set up an environment where teachers understand that we're there to help them as well. That if we find these areas that, if they're common, if we see a common thread, that we can really work to help that teacher identify, well, how did we miss that? What can we do to help you? What tools did you not have that you perhaps need? What can we give you to make that stronger? Uh, we have a real commitment at our elementary level in particular that we get the tools to fill the gaps before they are demonstrated at a higher grade. If we see gaps consistently in first and second grade, then let's fill them at first and second grade. Let's not move them on. If, if I was bringing a teacher in or, students, or a teacher said, I, I, wanna, I think I want to blend. I, I think I want to do some personalized learning. Can you help me? We offer general workshops just to basically give level one information. Here's what blended is. This is what we'll be talking about. Just to see if the teachers really truly want to participate in this and that they understand the challenges that come with a wholesale change in what they've done for their entire professional careers and that they're good at. We have great teachers here. So we want them to understand that even if they decide to make changes, it's not saying that anything you're doing was wrong. So it would start with just a basic introduction. This, this, is, this is what we're going to be doing if you want to do this. And then the other training would go into, again, our pillars, making sure they understand the foundations. How did we get here? What, what do we even want to accomplish? What does that look like in your classroom? How does that resonate with them? Do they see the same problems that we saw a year and a half ago or two years ago now? Do they see the same um, possibilities for success that we're seeing? What are the things in terms of what we've laid out in our pillars and the, an the questions that we feel like we answered as we began this process, do they agree with that? And how does that change a little bit? We saw a distinct difference from your one teachers in math to your two teachers in science. Your one teachers really were drawn more to, to data math teachers, uh, to data and how that was being utilized in their classroom and obviously the personalization, they were a little slower to come along in the area of student agency. Science teachers gravitated immediately during their training and just as we were trying to work with them to, again, just go through this process of what they wanted to accomplish, they very quickly migrated toward agency and felt like in their discipline, this is where they really needed to do some work where they could be very successful and make a great impact with the students. So we start off again just with that ability to say this is our, these are our core principles. This is where we want to start from. Now what is that going to look like in your classroom? So that's where training goes. Once they've kind of got to that point, obviously the closer we get to classes beginning it is, let's look at syllabus, what would your class look like? Let's talk about design and, and all the specifics and hardware and software and how we're going to grade this and what all those questions, so many of which can't be answered until they're almost in the classroom, and then we can make those adjustments as we go.